Whatever it is, guys. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We just gotta win this auction, and then we'll have our own castle. Oh, yeah? Over my dead tooth. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's auction. I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Warehouse and Emporium. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, I have been advised to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone, do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass castle facade masking what was once a Midas muffler shop? Two bits. Two bits. That's 25 cents in the Old West. We have 25 cents. Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my socks. You take the chance. We have an intriguing mystery bag. Do I hear more than the mystery bag? Two bits in a cardboard box, which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Already the most challenging auction I have ever been a part of. Do I hear a higher bid from that James Bond villain over there? 50 kroner. Which, converted to American currency, is $7.40. Do I hear a much higher bid, followed by shocked murmuring? $10,000. Shocked. <laughs> We're all shocked. We can't afford that. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only $9,000 in the mystery bag. Due to my 12 noon court appointment, as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice, and awarding this condemned building to you! <laughs> Damn it, we lost! I guess the castle was a crazy idea anyway. I should probably just invest this money in a 401 gay. And how long before I can take this out? Man, those losers don't deserve that castle. I would call my sister about this if she were able to answer the phone. Poor thing. Poor, poor thing. Well, you know, in castle times, if you wanted something, you just took it. What are you talking about? I'm saying the four of us should storm that castle and take it for ourselves. Should we do it with careful planning or have another couple beers and then just go for it? Well, let's make that decision after another couple beers. <laughs> I checked with my mom, and she said it was cool with her if we wanted to sleep here tonight. I'm pretty sure I can. Count me in. Oh, I'm gonna have to go home and get my pillow. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years, and never once have I broken a lamp. Good day, sir. God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. We need this after losing both our children. Good day, sir. All right, plan B. We'll shoot flaming arrows like in Robin Hood. So should I be aiming for an open window or just arcing it over the wall? I don't know. I've never seen the movie, just the Brian Adams video. Oh, such a good song. Archers! Yeah? Oh, yeah, he's that guy, too. Prepare to fire! I wonder what they're going to put here. Trader Joe's? Oh, I would love a Trader Joe's. 